Welcome back to another episode. Uh, I'm Eli and joining me again is Crystal. Myth number three is the fact that a freight broker isn't able to hold its carriers responsible, the carriers and its network responsible, if they are to fall through or show up late or you know damage some kind of some kind of freight in transit. What happens is a freight broker who has good buying power and relationships within the industry uh, and the carriers have a mutually beneficial relationship, meaning that the carriers want to um, you know, satisfy and make whole the broker and their shippers that they represent. So it's very, it's very easy for a freight broker who has deep carrier relations to hold them accountable and make sure that their follow through and commitment is at the expectations of their customer. Right. So reliability, once again, is a huge thing in the transportation industry. You know, a good broker should be a broker of choice, not only with their shippers, but also with their carriers. Right. A freight broker whose carrier selection process does matter. Um, and do we have a, a piece of content that we could point them towards uh, that kind of help them understand how does a broker, you know, build and sustain a reliable carrier network? I think that sounds just like the title of a blog that we may have. We have an article on how does a broker build and maintain a reliable network that I think would really uh, dive into the details on this topic a little further. Yeah, it's information that you need, it's information that you deserve, and we care about you here at ATS Logistics. Busty.